deals with the idea of artificially simulated worlds. And then one of Frida Kahlo's most famous paintings, The Two Fridas, has some like parallel universe qualities yeah. to it. Do you think Frida would have embraced the connection between art and string theory? She would have loved it. It's part of what you can see it in her art. It's a, it's a very interesting, it's a very interesting question. She was able to paint in one painting many aspects of her reality that maybe for nobody else saw the reality like that. But she felt it very real. So I think I, I think she would have been fascinated um, with string theory and uh, different dimensions, different possibilities of existing at the same time. And that's the worst one. <laughs> The way you do it is you don't want to dab it on the wing, you right. dab it next to it. Yeah, you know, you think at this point, and I then, figured that out, but uh, you know, right, right, right. a million times, this is you know, the sauce all over the uh, all over the wing, but you're right, that's the smart way to do it. Is that the cabin? No, it's a big You never know what it's going to be like, especially when they're thick. Mm -hmm. Sometimes too much just comes out. That's someone who's been around hot sauce a lot before. All right, Salma Hayek, at long last, I you can show sure this one. Now I'm going back into. You know what? I am adop adopting you. Whoa. As a Mexican, oh, yeah. you're not. <laughs> you are an honorary Mexican from wow. today on. You can really handle your chiles. Such a compliment coming from you, Salma Hayek. Because you know what? At long last, we've conquered the wings of death. And just one more annoyingly drawn out question before mm -hmm. we roll credits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, your origin story of leaving soap operas in Mexico to take a chance in Hollywood, it's well known. But one thing that I found interesting was a revelation that you had when you said, my passion.